much longer. Way much longer. <laughs> There's our episode title. <laughs> Just a way much longer. <laughs> oh, my thing doesn't want to load. Mm. Sorry if anyone's popped up yet. We're trying to get it to load. Pretend like we're not here for one minute. <laughs> Let us get our lives together. Let's see, it's so slow. There it is. Ah. Wrong way. What was oh. that? Was this coming up the speaker? <laughs> we should have set up music. Huh? Good morning, everybody. Oh, there it is. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. We're having an early day because we do have to work today. Yes. Oh man, and I lost it. I just I knocked the video off the screen. If you guys are out of cannabis, stop by Rosebuds later. Some up. Are we both wearing this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta rep our true loves here. <laughs> Good morning, Jennifer. Good morning, Jacqueline. Good morning, everybody. Wendy, Kristen, Maddie, Randy. Kristen, oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're here. Kristen got to see me be super awkward all over people. Like, <laughs> I wasn't all over people, but my awkward was all over the room and just everywhere my awkwardness because she went to women and weave yesterday with me and if i met you hi and good to i'm glad i met, met you and i'm glad i saw you and sorry i was awkward there was a time when i like stuck my hand out like touched somebody's hair because their hair was so awesome and i haven't really met them in person at all only on facebook but like i was just so excited without even thinking i'm like just went <laughs> all in to go touch her hair but then I like caught myself mid like and then I was like oh no I was gonna touch your hair and then it was very awkward <laughs> for me it was not awkward for her you were a great person thank you for playing it so cool I was awkward and Kristen was there <laughs> so that that's what I needed to share with everybody <laughs> what did you guys do this weekend yeah were you awkward as well somewhere or were you normal somewhere <laughs> let I was us know <laughs> awkward at the mardi gras parade how was that uh being well, awkward outside <laughs> i it was so cold and windy i rode inside the van in the parade but they turned on the lights inside the van and they were like everybody wave this is not an aquarium <laughs> and i was like that's awkward and like i'm like right in the very middle of the van like i could see the crowds of people on each side i'm just like this is awkward. So it was kind of like an aquarium? Yeah, I felt like, <laughs> like a fish in a tank just kind of being driven around. Did but you guys go to any Mardi Gras parades? Um, did you go to the one in Tulsa if you're from around here? Did you check that out? Did you see Shell? And I'm not a partier, but we went to the after party at the Unicorn Club. Okay, I wanted to go to the Unicorn Club just to check it out, literally because of its name, since like it opened. Like that's... that's really why just because of its name so right. how was it like was it fantastic did they have adorable drinks like um it looked like the drinks were pretty cute i don't really drink so i didn't really look at them right. but i saw drinks other people yeah had. i just want to look at uh, the drinks i don't want to drink them they had super they had some pretty cute ones um they brought in like all this cajun food okay um, and that's like your thing like you love like cajun food too right i like it but with me not knowing where it came from exactly, yeah. I didn't mess with it with my stomach. Okay. But it smelled great. There was like coffee and uh, like, uh, what are they called? They're like a donut thing, but it's got a different name. Like, I feel like it starts with a B. Oh man. If you guys know what the little <laughs> fried donut thing is that starts with a B, let me know. Uh, let's see. We gotta look at comments. We're so bad at looking at comments sometimes, so <laughs> we're gonna be amazing at that today. Um, good morning, good morning. You're gonna go get good a day. rose bunch shirt today. Okay. Thank you, Sheree. That's it. It was... I probably said it wrong, too, but... I think it's like beignet or yeah, something. Yeah, beignet. There we go. Boom! Boom! That was probably wrong, too. But we feel like that's really right. That was so better than what I said. vote for that. <laughs> that was... <laughs> please, please vote that right. It was delicious. And then after we did that, we went to Hertz Donuts, and I ate another donut. <laughs> I love Hertz Donuts. I've only been there, like, once or twice, but... And I've only been to the one downtown Tulsa, and 
It's so amazing. It's so it cool is. to walk in there. I don't even know what to do when I walk in. I kind of trip out because it's so, like, there's so many fabulous looking donuts. Like, I don't even want to see how they taste because they're just so beautiful. Like, all of them are so they beautiful. Are. I know I sent you a picture of one that was like a freaking mermaid tail sticking yes. out with like pearls and stuff. And how do you do that? Like, how I literally got that, that just for the picture of it. And then uh, I got the Nutella one. Of course you would get the Nutella one. I love Nutella. It's life. Yes, I am magic. I am totally magic. I'm really sad because I wanted to see you guys too and nobody I don't think was up yet whenever I left. Um, I stayed, I went to Women in Weed yesterday, um, with Kristen Carr, who's from C4 Extracts. You guys should check out C4 Extracts. Um, but then I had to leave there early because I was getting to go stay at Hempton Heights for, um, one of their weekends of their soft opening. So I did that yesterday and got to kind of see everybody. Tiffany was asleep. She was there. Mother Rabbit was there, but she was asleep. And then everybody was asleep when I had to like dip out really quick early this morning and then just magically appear on shell doorstep. <laughs> so I'm sorry I didn't get to see you. Good morning to everybody just joining in. It's just us today. Yeah. Just seeing what you did with your weekend because we're going to have a short show today. So. Yes. Orville is on here. I met him yesterday. I met him. I see him all over all the things all the time and I actually like met you, met you in person. It was good to meet you. Good morning. Yeah, see, we said that at the same time. My comments <laughs> lag a little bit, so. That's right, you can pick up your C4 extracts at Native Relief. Yes, from Susan, Susan, who's fabulous. She is wonderful. Also, Kristen, I just wanna say thank you because I think you thought that I was like having you come with me so like I could help you not be so nervous going in Women in Weed, and I'm super nervous going in any event anyways. But also it really helped because we would go up and like talk to people and then when I started getting really, really nervous, I'd be like, and this is Kristen from C4 Extracts, you should meet her. <laughs> so that was great. <laughs> so that kind of, that kind of really took some of the anxiety off of me when I could direct people over to you. So thank you for being there for me to throw in front of myself. You just how I met your mother turn. <laughs> Have you met Kristen? <laughs> I would get so nervous, like I would start talking and then I would be like, yeah, do you know her? <laughs> so I guess you're lucky you weren't there too, because then I would have done it to you and her, and I would have just had two people and been able to be, like, awkward quicker. <laughs> like, I had so much, like, that I had to do yesterday. Like, if I would have gone, I probably would have just been like, like, don't even know what to say. Like, laundry, dishes, everything in my head. I need to sleep. And I no, still, that's, still need to sleep. that's important, and I think it was good because we both kind of did a self-care thing yesterday, and that was, like, my self-care, like, I needed to push and get out, like I needed to go out of the house and I needed to push myself into to meeting more people and networking and go spend time with Kristen because she needs to do some self care and get out. And then um, you did your self care at home and that's important, like making sure that your house, your everything here is good and going and all yeah. that is gonna get you like going through the week. So I think that was both like two different ways to really keep us sane and take care of ourselves and give yeah. us what we needed and it's okay for to go out or to stay in whatever you need so yeah I got my errands done real early and then just cleaned and took me time there you go I got to go and shout out again to Hempton Heights um I got to go there and that was really good to go somewhere and to feel like I was even though it was just for a few hours uh to get to go somewhere and kind of like medicate and take a nap and <laughs> I mean it was like go to sleep really but I didn't have a whole lot of time so I took a nap <laughs> and then got ready this morning and came here but it was good to to go relax somewhere that was cannabis friendly and not have to worry about the craziness um of sitting outside like hiding medicating in a parking lot or something yeah. like I could medicate in the room got to relax it was a quick overnight um kind of staycation because I didn't really go anywhere but just out of town like an hour out of Tulsa so that was great and then I'm back in town today to do all the things that we gotta do sorry I'm gonna hit you while I'm talking um that's true with my hands not my knee <laughs> yeah <laughs> so that was really great if you haven't got to check out the uh, Hempton Heights you should do that uh da, 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 da. What, what else did you guys do did they say anything yet we want to know what you guys did this weekend because there was super fun stuff happening. Did you do self-care? Did you sit at home and clean? Um, did 
did you go to Hampton Heights? Because I know a lot of people did. Did you go to Women in Lead or the Mardi Gras Parade? Let me just talk real big with my hands. We don't have like a bunch of people on the couch we today, don't. so I it's feel like I can just do more things. Like all this room. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start with our Monday parfait that we both created. Yeah, you know, a parfait is it could be it could be, you know, flour, it could be your concentrates, it could really it, you can honestly do it with your edibles, I guess. Too. Yeah, you could parfait your edibles. You just take a little bit of everything you have, like I don't wanna say scraps because it's good product regardless right. of everything. Just like, your there's that little bit left over in the containers of Yeah, like the heel piece of the, the bread yeah. of all your things. And you just kinda of put it together and that's that's what we're doing today. We just took a little bit of all of our things and all of our concentrates and like put I said, it together. we're gonna teach you the low maintenance side of things. Yeah, it's the low maintenance parfait Monday. Yep. <laughs> so what are you guys medicating with today? Are you parfaiting it up? Do you do that? Is that just, are we just terrible? Are we the only people that do that? <laughs> <laughs> and I, uh, with the Rio, you can cold start, but I've been using an Earl's dab timer. And I do 50 seconds heat up, 50, 45 to 50 seconds cool down. And then it just makes such a good hit. Oh, I'm trying to take a drink of this. The lid was cool, so I tried to drink of it. That was terrible. I was gonna spill it myself, so I grabbed a straw. <laughs> I have the straw in my bag for this, and I keep forgetting it's in there. Okay, so you use. I never noticed that you use it to like for how long you turn the torch on, and then how long you let it cool too. I didn't realize that. I yeah. just thought you could use it. No, if you time it both directions, like you kind of have to get a feel for each individual banger, but. You time the up and down it get it keeps it really clean too like as far as the banger like I mean mine's a little chest right now but this is the Rio if you guys have not seen the Rio from stash products um, it's freaking brilliant it's I think one of our favorite methods for uh, for concentrates for sure for smoke concentrates Let us know what you are smoking or what you are dabbing or well, whatever, what you're dropping, dabbing, smoking, whatever, eating. Drop it. If you're dropping, <laughs> let us know. I'm curious. We want to hear what you have this morning. We are doing the Monday morning parfaits. I'll go ahead and start heat up for yours. Yeah, okay. So, Shell is like dab queen. I am like dab novice, <laughs> like dab noob. So I still need an adult whenever I'm dabbing, um, even with the Rio, which is absolutely amazing. You're gonna have to tell me exactly what to do, like I'm a child. If you guys want to learn, here we go. Um, I like to have someone here to kind of coach me, like a dab coach, just because I'm not 100% comfortable yet doing it on my own. Good morning if you're just joining. Shell's using the dab timer to see how long we need to heat it up and to let it cool. And then she's going to tell me what to do just like I'm a five-year-old learning how to dab. And if you have a Rio and you download the Earl's dab timer, it's E-R-R-L-S. Um, 50 seconds up, 50 seconds down on the Rio seems to be ideal. And like normally you wouldn't have like equal heat pool time, but I think that little quartz notch in the middle is what makes the difference. That was delicious. That was a delicious parfait. Yes. Can't go wrong with them. Uh, okay. Delivering C4. What are you guys, What are you girls doing today? We're working after the show. We're gonna go trim. Okay. 
Keith coffee for breakfast. That's nice. Like Keith, like you just put Keith in coffee. Lemon scope from Simple Cure. Jessica, we use um, we use an iPad Pro. We don't currently use an external microphone. We're still kind of looking, evaluating, comparing. <coughs> but there is one coming in the future. Um, I could essentially attach a um, multi-camera to it. Um, we just haven't really had a super need for it yet, but yeah. we can do multi-camera functions for sure. Harvesting today, that's amazing. I love that. I love hearing that. What's the name? I don't Rio that way. I need lessons now. Oh, uh, Earl's Dab Timer. E-R-R-L-S. Uh, look it up in your app store. 50 seconds up, 50 seconds down. I... Yes. Oh. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> we are tripping at Rosebuds. <laughs> Um, I would have never thought, like, I mean, I still, like, thank God the Rio, like, saves so much confusion for me. Like, I would be able to totally figure it out if I had to without my dab coach, but I definitely would still be confused on how long to heat up and everything. So I think having the timer, like, that's a genius, and I'm always going to have my phone with me, so having the, the heat up and the cool down timer is is great. <laughs> yeah, my friends Melissa and Chad over at Be Happy Farms taught me about that timer and it has been a game changer. Like they have, <laughs> that's what I call bougie bangers. Like, they're really nice. <laughs> okay, and okay. so like their heat up and cool down time was a lot longer than mine because of just the material and the make of it. Okay. Like you just kind of eventually get a feel for it. And also your torch makes a difference too. Because this has like the little built-in torch where it's going to take longer. If I had like one of those tanks where I sit there and I'm like, Shh, sh, 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 it's going to be like 20 seconds heat up, maybe. Like, I'm glad a much you, longer cool down I'm time. glad you don't have that. I personally, like, I can't, I cannot, like, from my experiences, I haven't had a ton of experiences with, with dabs and stuff like that, but like, literally from the very first time I tried a dab, which was totally recorded, I'm glad we got that. Um, the, the torch thing, the separate torch, like, the smaller, tiny ones are not as bad, but, like, having the separate torch, like, really, really trips me out, especially if it looks like a camping torch, and I don't know why, that just really puts me off, like, I, it is a camping torch. Uh, yeah, okay, and I love, like, it should only be used for camping with adults, like, adults should have that. Um, I think this makes me feel a lot more comfortable, something like this, or just... The smaller torches, which I understand would be a pain in the ass if you are dabbing a lot because they yeah. would run out, but uh, that's just my personal preference. Sorry if for all of you that love the, the camping torches. <laughs> Kristen, I absolutely encourage you to try rosebuds. You will not regret it. Tropicana cookies number two. Yeah, if you're in Tulsa, if you're going to be near Tulsa, um, check out rosebuds. If you have watched any of our videos before, you would know that we pretty much have always thought that their flower was fantastic um, from day one, so definitely but, still recommend that. 10 out of 2. But is a spider plant. Um, Which 50 ones? up, Yeah. 50 up, 50 down. 50 seconds heat up and 50 seconds cool down. I just kind of left important adjectives out of that. <laughs> yeah. We were doing a timer, a dab timer, Earl's dab timer. <laughs> That's what that is. That's you with your big okay. camping torch. Bro, it's okay. Like, that's... Anybody that uses the camping torch or whatever, if you use four camping torches, whatever you do, which I don't recommend any of that, <laughs> like, whatever works for you to medicate, like, you should do it and do what's comfortable to you and don't let anybody shame you for it. I just shame myself whenever I have the giant torch thing. And I do like concentrates, and I think I was super put off for a long time because I was intimidated by all of the... The utensils and stuff I like that. Too. So the different, um, Vivant has the dab box and something else that I thought was really cool that was just a good, like, smoking device. Rio, freaking love that so much. Yeah. Um, I did, like, a couple of, like, the whole banger bong setup thing. Like, I was kind of into a couple like of those. those. But it I depends on the shape and everything. It's just the torch thing really gets me every time. 
And the straw. I'm not super into the straw thing. <laughs> yeah, I have a bad habit of like sucking too hard through the straw and you get that little hot piece that hits you in the oh, mouth. Oh no, hot wax? Yeah. Oh god, I didn't even think about that being a thing. Like I, oh god, I know what pipes and stuff, which yeah. I don't do really, I don't like pipes for like flour, uh, sucking in like that. Oh god, but wax? <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> no. Burns. That's Not terrible. <laughs> you don't recommend it, but it was affordable. That, that makes sense. You just ordered the vibe being a bit dry. Okay, I saw you were looking for something um, the other day, Jennifer, online, and I saw it was from Vivant. And I don't know how to say it, if that's how you say it. Vivant, Vivant, Vivant. However you say it. Um, but I want to know what it is, and I want to see it. Because you have cool stuff. And you started your little collection. Like, um, Jennifer posted a picture. It's been a little while, though. She had her her collection of her glass pieces on a shelf. Like, she bought this adorable shelf thing, um, like, cabinet. It has all of her, like, bombs yes. and things. It's so and cute. You have such a cute collection. Do you guys do that? Do you have a special place you keep all your pieces? Or do you have them, like, scattered throughout your house? <laughs> or do you not keep pieces? Are there people out there who just don't do, like, glass and don't have things like that at all? Is that a thing? Probably. Are any of you like that? I have bongs scattered. Um, but, like, all my pipes, besides, like, the one, like, I towed around, are, like, all in this little cabinet. You have pipes? Like, I have a fuck ton of pipes. Like, the spoon pipe things? Like, oh, I'm just gonna... You'll just hear her reaction after, like... Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> she has pipes. Okay. Uh, there's more behind those. Damn. And you have a little tiny bong. I do. That's so this cute. Is my first, this is my first bong ever. Look how cute that is. Its name is Ziggy. It's oh my very God. first bong. I got it in my apartment. Like That's adorable. Back in 14. Okay, well, she absolutely has a place. She says she has bongs and stuff scattered, which I mean, I do see a bong over there. But, <laughs> and up there, there, up there. Okay, there. she does have bongs scattered, <laughs> and she has an amazing collection of pipes over here. Um, I think I had a couple of pipes, but I brought them to events, like, a long time ago, and kind of, like, it was an after-hours event, and they just got, like, passed around, and then they never got passed back to oh. my pocket ever. So, oh. <laughs> I don't have pipes anymore, but I do have... Um, a couple of bongs that I've collected, like from over at working at the flower district, and that I'm so glad I have those. They're so fabulous. Um, I think I have a bubbler I got in like the butler box. Okay. Uh, I, have you ever done any of the like subscription box things? I did the Sensi box that Jennifer does. Okay. Um, okay. I did that back. It used to be like there was four different boxes back then. There was there was the his the hers. The his light and the hers light and the lights were like smaller mm -hmm. but i would they were so awesome each time i would order a his and a hers so each month i had two of the boxes <laughs> going and then she made it just like one monthly box with a theme and but it's still so cool i love all her stuff puffco peak works for concentrates no torch needed listen i've seen everyone it seems like on instagram with the puffco peak have you seen that too yeah. it just seems like it's kind of like everywhere Everybody so whoever has one of those let us try it yeah. <laughs> come, come be on our show let us try it yeah because i've really seen those everywhere and i'm like one of the most frugal people in the land i think and i want to really know things like that work and i think that's hard to order stuff like if you can't right see it or try it out really um, you do baby dabs, so you're worried a Rio would be a waste for me. I do baby dabs. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's definitely not a waste. I mean, it's a good small piece. Like, it looks big, but, like, in reality, the piece itself, I mean, it doesn't go very deep into here. It's small. <laughs> like, because, I mean, your torch is down here, so this glass really only sits about that far down. So it's just this small square you're hitting out of. It just makes it look a lot more intimidating with all the stuff added. Um, 
you have a cabinet for your pieces. Yes, it's fabulous. I need to move, like, because I just took all my stuff out of the office and I'm doing, like, a home office thing and I don't know if I want to do all my pieces, like, in the office area or, like, in my bedroom area because they're both away. Like, a child is not going in any of those spaces. And so I could do either one and I don't know, but I want to put my stuff somewhere, like, super nice. Like, because I've never been able to have like my glass like at home on display like for people like it's yeah. always because I've been like halfway like in the closet like in the cannabis closet so I want to well let my cannabis freak flag fly <laughs> so I don't know where to put my thing you'll have to come over and help me figure out where to put my things I can do that um you just got a puff pill pee oh man that's awesome Sorry, I'm getting okay. so excited in the comments. <laughs> Cincy Bob's is incredible. Yeah. Subscribe. Okay, listen, I did Butler Box, the Butler Box, and they had a couple different ones. They had one for dabbing, for um, like more flour, and then they had like a rollers box that was like super cheap. And then I think they even had one that was like a dollar. Like it was crazy. But the one I got was like 30 or $35, and um, it came, like I got that. Like, did you see my tuxedo grinder ever? Yeah. Okay, if you look way back on Instagram, there's a tuxedo grinder. It's like a medium-sized grinder. It's really great. Um, I got that from there. I got my bubbler. I got a pipe from there. Uh, I had a really cool little, like, cone bubbler from there. And, like, you'll get at least one glass piece plus some random, like, candy. Like, um, I had cotton mouth candies or whatever. They're just, like, lozenges. Um and you'll get glass a grinder or something like that rolling paper some candy and that's like 30 35 bucks that's and it's like cute is. yeah it's a cute box and everything like super discreet um but i like that and then scentsy box and then what else there i know a lot of people do hemper and um what is the other one you grab? um daily high club daily high club daily high club which one is the one that just had that really cool unicorn bong? Like, it was like I a... I think that was Daily Hire. God, that was so beautiful. That and was. I keep seeing, like, a lot of you post your pictures of it, and I'm super jealous because it's super pretty. Uh, what other boxes? If you guys know of other boxes, too, let us know. Definitely not a waste. Rio is sure worth it. Good morning. Probably start heading off. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we should let you guys go on about your day. We have lots of stuff to get done today. Um, thank you for watching. Keep letting us know what you did this weekend because we'll comment yeah. back later. Let us know if you know any subscription boxes that you love. Um let us know if you have questions about the Rio or any dab questions or just want to ask us anything. Cause we just love talking to you guys yeah and don't forget if you want to be on the show we just have a quick little fun questionnaire and we'll get you like message during scheduling yeah is there anything else i think that's it okay we love you guys and have a fabulous day Bye.